So, what are we going to do? We're going to look at these three people. They are totally not the same person. Nah, couldn't be. And there's also a really muscular squirrel. So, edgy, left. edgier, and edgiest. Edge, edge, and edgy. <laughs> <laughs> edge, edgy, and edgy. <laughs> Well played. Well played. <laughs> oh, God. There's actually a picture of that Edge, Edge, and Edgy <laughs> featuring Dante from the Double May Cry series. God damn it. <laughs> this, is a, this is a great start. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree? So, got anything interesting you want to talk about? So, yeah, as you can see, someone has already played this game before. Gee, I wonder who it could we have been. We have no idea who it is, so let's just do it again. <laughs> Woo! Anyway. I'd like to start this off by saying that I don't watch anime anymore because I already know, I already know my favorite anime, and my favorite anime is Jack and Daxter. Oh yeah, I forgot, Jack and Daxter was an anime. Yes. Oh, yeah. Let's prove it, today, right here and now. Yeah. Star Fox Zero Guard is weird. Oh? Yeah. Well, I tried playing the demo, it was very odd. Hmm. You run these security cameras with laser guns at the bottom. It's very multitasking. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Jack and Daxter. This looks so much better in three in H in H three D. The precursor legend legacy. legacy. Ah, mm. All right, so let's make a new game. Ignore that. Uh, That's... Options. Ignore that. Oh yeah, I forgot. We gotta. We gotta. We gotta. We gotta remember? do in true anime style. Yes, yeah, speech volume. That's that. Uh, That's so, nope, no. This is the wrong one. Game, game, game options. options. There we go. Uh, there is no Japanese. Aw, oh, you suck. Whatever. Oh well. Then this would just be a really poorly dubbed anime. This would be a really bad for a dubbed anime. Like, none of the lines even make sense. <laughs> I know. It's like someone just looked at the Japanese lines like, Nah, I don't care about translating this. <laughs> just come up with some weird language. It's like they made a new story. So basically, the idea is, We don't care about the plot this time. Is that, Should we at least add in subtitles? Uh, nah, it's fine. Add in subtitles for the game. It's like how it's supposed. It's like where's what the game saying? There's how it's supposed to have been translated. If you want, if you want, if you want subtitles, just watch a let's play. Yeah, this isn't really a let's play. So basically, this, the ge the general gist is that Jack and Daxter is a slice of life is a slice of life uh, comedy about okay. tea parties. So basically, ah, okay, I see. So basically, the you're look. Uh, earlier, with all the purple stuff, that is supposed to, that is supposed to be the legendary tea, right? Mm, okay. So we're following the adventures of this boy and this other boy. You mean chap? We are talking about tea, after all. I guess. What is this? Is the story set hey, in Great Britain or something? Tea isn't necessarily all Britain, okay? I guess you're right. Some of it's Chinese. So basically, these are two two young rascals. Who are very troublesome and not doing what they're supposed to be doing. They're su they're supposed to be they're supposed to be helping uh, the others make the tea, but instead they're throwing it into the harbor. I don't know why. <laughs> so anyway, ah, uh, so this is that kind of slice of life. I see. So anyway, they're they're escaping their duties right now by going to this I secret island that n no one knows about, except for them. So <laughs> they're just so they love this island. It's their favorite island with all these bones all over the place. That, does it have, does it, does it, does it house their childhood memories? Yes, yeah, so it houses their childhood memories of making their first tea out of bones. And the bones mm. of their parents! Unfortunately, they, they come across another tea party here. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's no good. Yeah, so, this guy, he, he is, uh, he is the, one of the most renowned tea, tea makers in all of this place, let's just call it Tamaria or something. Tamaria. Let's <laughs> just call it that. And also, his, and also his sister, who sister. doesn't who doesn't make any sort of tea whatsoever. But oh. she makes nice cakes, which is why she keeps her around. Oh, right. It's one of those relationships. Yes. That's not a good relationship. Very synergetic. Anyway. So there's the so there's a giant vat of legendary tea that they were using during the tea party, and basically they overheard them. They overheard him talking about becoming coming talking about sabotaging all the other tea parties. Tea parties. Oh, so they're gonna the sabotage. Absolute best. They're gonna sabotage them first. Yes. I see. 
No, they don't. They don't. They're not going to sabotage them first, right? Like, right now, they just overheard them uh, saying that they, that those guys are sabotaging all the tea parties. So okay. they're so they're discussing it and stealing one and trying to steal one of their tea tea like tea caskets. Oh, I see. It's a like tea casket. Yeah. So it glows red, and then some guy figures it out. One of the when the cust one of the invited invited people just comes over and like hits them. So he's going to throw the tea at him. And it's going to explode because that's how awesome it is. And he drowns in the, his legendary tea. Yes. He, oh, that's not it. Oh. So now, so now the other guy died and died in tea forever now. All and of a now sudden, he's been reincarnated. Pops, all, all of a sudden, a squirrel pops out and is like, "You saved me! Thank you so much! I will now be your lifelong partner forever." Also, to ignore that. He's just <laughs> he's, he's just super he's, happy. Yes, he's just really, really happy. <laughs> He's just really, really happy. Like, can, can't you feel the excitement? <laughs> anyway, they come back to the tea father, and the tea, and like he's he's angry at them and taking the and taking the piss and like he's basically shouting at them for leaving him while they were making tea and slacking off again. And then he figures out where the secret island is because it's right out his window and not like hidden at all whatsoever. <laughs> and like, so bad. Mm -hmm. So they're discussing. So they're talking about how there's a tea party that's sabotage. There's a people who's trying to sabotage all the tea parties in the world, but he doesn't care because he's angry. So. <laughs> Hmm. So as punishment, he's making them go all around the world in search of cakes. Yes. I thought they were scones originally. Yes, yeah, scones and tea cakes. He so basically. Oh, okay, I see. So basically, he's telling them to go on a journey to find all the cakes he can, he, they can get, so that he so that he can host a very marvelous tea party for everyone. In order to counter uh, the evilest tea party of all time. No, he no he doesn't know about that yet because he's not listening to them. Oh. Right. So like, so there's a teleporter made out of tea. Made out of tea. Yes. Interesting. That's it's it's the theme. Oh, of I the, see. There's the scones right there. Yes. It's the th no. Those aren't the scones yet. No. Those it, aren't the scones. Yes. And then they introduce this lady. She's the daughter of the person who makes the tea, but she's secretly evil. We'll get to that evil. later. Evil. We'll get to that later. Anyway, this magical fairy we picked up earlier somehow all has an immediate liking to this girl. Ah, oh, it's one of even, those animes. Even though she's evil. <laughs> so she's basically telling us, "Oh, you can get all these, you can get all these cakes from these random people in the village because they'll help you for some reason." And we said, "Yeah, that sounds like a good idea." Also, not only that, but for some reason, all the cakes are just lying around randomly all over the world, waiting to be picked up by by people and not birds or anything like that. Uh, yeah, about that. Yeah. So she's gonna so so as a warm up, he's gonna throw them into the tea over there, and then he's gonna ha he's gonna make us practice getting cakes because apparently we don't know how to do that. And he's like, oh. yeah, he's like, this is our punishment. We just have we just we just get thrown into the tea. Okay. Well, actually, we just jump into the tea. Yeah. So our fairy friend is is following us. And there's All right. A <laughs> and gameplay starts for real. Oh no, the camera again. <laughs> No camera. That's not good. Uh, camera options. No inverted. Flip. 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 So basically, we can press all the buttons. You press triangle, you get into first person mode because uh, uh, they made a they made a game adaptation to Jack and Daxter anime. That's a first person shooter. I don't know why. Hmm. It's dumb. <laughs> Weird. I mean, all the fans are really upset about it. <laughs> I guess I could understand why. Yeah. <laughs> also, did you know that they're making a new Metroid Prime, but it's not about out Samus Aran at all? Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's about out, out the uh, military of that universe. Also, so now she's gonna. So now the evil lady is telling us that there's also money lying around on the ground. Whoa. She doesn't. She doesn't. She doesn't explain. Ex um, the anime doesn't really explain what type of money it actually is. So I'm just gonna assume it's the Roman ass. Hmm, okay. So we're, so here we are, picking up asses off the ground. All I thought, right. I thought they were artifacts made by the first tea makers. No. Nah, no. that sounds dumb. That's stupid. Anyway, oh, is so that here's cake? A, yeah, so here's our first scone. Okay. So yeah, our, our, our mission in life is to collect all the scones as punishment for sneaking out and not making tea. 
So he's gonna make us a scone maker instead. Hmm. So we can collect scones by walking into them, and... You see, the thing about is, is team makers is that they make really great dancers. Oh, like, I see. They also, they also know their... They also know a thing about, like... Uh... Like... Like, uh... Uh, dual stand-up oh, comedy. That, that was a bug. Why'd you pick up a bug? Oh yeah, these bugs. These bugs are assholes. They steal cakes. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. So basically, we're trying to find all. So if, when we find all the, when we find all these bugs, we'll make the, we'll force them to give, we'll force them to give us their cakes. Ah, so if we find them all, they'll give their cake back to us. Yes. I see. And so, and because we're collecting, and because this is an anime, we have to collect all the, we have to collect all the cakes in the world to become the greatest, the greatest team the makers greatest in team the world, the greatest team make, and host the greatest tea party ever. Oh, okay, I see. This, this, this sounds like a very complex anime. Yeah. Is this one of those ones with the silent protagonist? Mm -hmm. Or does he just uh, speak by a, a reading people's minds? Oh yeah, he, so here he's going to introduce us to seasoning. Seasoning, okay. Yes. So basically, um, these are a these are actually really dried up tea. Oh. So basically, if you eat them, they give you they give you uh, superpowers because this is an anime. Oh, okay. <laughs> superpower tea. Yes, it's not the weirdest tea. thing I've ever heard. Anyway, this t this this tea makes it so that everything around that you it, it makes basically makes you uh, a living magnet en engineer. Hmm. You're, you basically become an engineer. So now you're a tea engineer. Uh, you went to college for that. Ah, I see. Like you basically make everything around you explode. It's kind of it's a kind of an OP superpower. Hmm. Like, well, I, that's why they made it time limited, right? Oh yeah, they made it time limited. So that was the that was a heart rending scene when the protagonist almost dies, but he doesn't. He's like hold, holds on for dear life. I really like that moment. <laughs> Yeah, I should watch this anime at some point instead of watching this game game adaptation. Yeah. It, it, it sounds like it'd be a really good anime. And so now he's going to introduce us to doors and their doors. So. Oh, okay. Of course, you need a special old password in order to enter them. Yeah, the password is T. The password is always T. I see. So yeah, so even though even though we're obviously goofing off for a, a little bit. Unskippable cutscenes are amazing that you can pause through. I really wanted to start. I wanted. I really wanted to make this topic about falling off of edges and dying and being eaten by fish. Wait, what? No, that's not what I wanted to be about. What I wanted to be about was comedy in general. Okay, so now we're actually getting into random talks. Yes, right now we're going to go in random talks. So Jack and Baxter. Also, this is actually faster than regular. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. <laughs> Okay. This is faster than swimming regularly. Wow. I don't know what to say to that. How about oh, amazing? Oh, well, lucky I fell off because I completely forgot about this place. So, you got anything interesting to talk about? So basically, like, comedy and, like, how, it is, how it's implemented, what it's like, what types of comedies, and how, and, and which, and what types of work, basically. So, this part of Random Talks will be comedy-based. This part, this, like, this, like, this part, the, please, Jack. Jack who? My bad. His, Jakku. Name, his name is Jakku. Uh, does it, it has... Does it have a niche fandom? Uh, no, he's just a cousin of Jakku. -y. Oh, okay, <laughs> I see. I see they got some tie-ins with Artanelico, too. A bit. It's it's made by the same voice actors. So. Oh, nice! <laughs> really? No. Oh. I'm gullible. <laughs> what do you think we're doing? Being gullible. What do you think we're doing? So, yeah, bas so basically... Like comedy, like there's, there's all sorts of comedy in the world. Like, if you travel from west to east, like basically America, America, they do, America, uh, most of the comedy you ever see is reality TV shows. Oh my. God. Yeah, those seem to be prominent. Right, but but the thing that people actually enjoy is is stand up. Yeah, stand up comedy is definitely a thing. Yeah, yeah stand up's amazing actually. I actually prefer it. <laughs> Like, a lot of them are. The problem is with stand up is that it's. The uh, thing with stand up is that it's mostly adult oriented. Yeah. Like, mm. you see, when you. Like, you have. Like, you, you see what they do, and it's like, oh, we're talking about sex again this time, and my adventures with it. 
Uh, they gotta make it interesting. Another thing about uh, stand up is that. Okay, I got everything. Just checking. Okay. Press start again. I forgot. You need the eco. No, we don't. Yes. <laughs> just as planned. According to Keikaku? Yep. Yes. Uh, oh, yeah, gotta go to Green Sage Hut. Oh, yeah, by the way, we can move to Green Sage Hut, Green Sage Hut, or Green Sage Hut. <laughs> that Possibilities are endless. Yes. So, here's our cutscene, he's explaining, okay, good job you guys, now go out there in the world. This is the, this is the dramatic, uh, dramatic sending off scene that lasts for like three minutes. Very tearful, very heartrending. It's okay. one of the most... Wait, the, this is where the, the team maker gives his ultimatum? He just sends him off like, farewell, do well in the rest of the world, make the greatest tea party. It's a very emotional send off, very... Very it it kind of seems like the game doesn't quite get that same level of emotion. Yeah. He also tells. Then again, them, it, it kind of would be a problem if if the people playing the game were like crying so much they have trouble seeing through their tears. Yeah, he also so. he also um, he also tells us to, while while on our way just unblock some of his tea collectors. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, just for that. So now we're gonna go on our merry adventure now. All right. If you where the door is. Wall. What's a what's a door? There we go. The invisible door. They have invisible doors? So basically, so yeah. Another thing about stand-up before I was really interrupted by the video game is that um, they focus more on like anecdotes rather than actually like yeah. made up, mm. uh, made up sketches or like journals or whatever. Like the events they usually talk about are just them living their lives and like, oh, I remember this this part, this 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 thing that happened to me once. It's really funny and. Nine times out of ten, it's actually really funny because real life, believe it or not, is stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I I can confirm real life is dumb. But a, 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 a teacher had scented candles on her desk, and when I tried to turn in my homework, it caught on fire, and I put in trash can. That caught on fire. What? And I tried to uh, and I took uh, the trash can to the sink and uh, set it out. Out. Mm. That's. I I can't even explain that. Yeah, that anecdotes. actually happened to me. You see anecdotes. Oh, there should be another. It, there should be another rascal in this. Anecdotes are life's way of saying shit happens. And that's how I, I learned to love fire. Mm -hmm. that, so bit, oh yeah. So now we can. So now we're introduced to the side characters. Okay. This guy. He's the mayor of the town. He basic. He basically uh, takes credit for every single tea party that happens around here. Okay. And never makes any. And never hosts any tea party himself. But anyway. He's complaining because his windmill is broken and that nothing works. Oh. And because nothing works, there's not enough electricity to power his PS PS4. So he oh. can no, so he's no longer entertained by anything in the world. So this game was actually uh, self promoting for Sony. Yes, yes, self promoting for so Sony, like 16 years in the future. Wow, it's pretty amazing. It's way ahead of its time. Very, very. So basically. Wait, said, so was this self-promotion in the anime as well, or was that something that was just put into the game? I think it, I think it was put into the game. Okay. Right? If you want an uh, anime uh, out of, of promotion, in the look at Tiger and Buddy. Taxi Man. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, Tiger and Buddy did actually have one for Pepsi. Yeah. Pepsi Man! I would have loved that as an anime, just Pepsi Man. Pepsi Man! Plus you could see it. And oh, as well, God. and the ultimate it overlord is Coke. And then afterwards, afterwards you head into Europe, and basically Europe is just being people. Like the people themselves, they just make jokes all the time anyway. So there's not really enter any other unique entertainment sphere other than like show plays, which isn't really. Hmm. Anyway, this guy, he's our uncle. Oh, okay. He, he raised us as a kid and grew us up to be great tea makers. Quote unquote. <laughs> yeah. So he's he's saying that oh now that you're now that you've become of age, it's now time that I retire from my job of doing nothing and you pay me money. So basically, he's asking us for ass. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're collecting it. Yeah. And he and as you can see, the fairy person he doesn't really like him, even even though he's our uncle. Well, that makes sense. For shame, for shame, fairy. Well, it kind of makes sense, because the fairy hasn't known that guy for too long, has, mm -hmm. it? has he? Anyway, a lot, oh yeah, by the way, this game has day and night cycles. Oh. Yes, as you can tell, it's now night. And our last yeah. person on our list is this guy. He's a, he's, he doesn't have anything with, he doesn't have anything to do with 
uh, tea whatsoever. He's just the surfer that lives in the village. Oh. And now he's saying, and now because he's a surfer, he's trying to explore different reigns of, like, arts and literature, and decided hmm. to stake up sto stone make stone crafting. Oh, nice. Except his pet, his pet monster, his pet demon lord of the overworld oh. has gone missing. Oh, he's that's He's asking us to go find it. So you're s so demon lords. Yeah, he he has a pet demon lord. It's you absolutely bang. pure evil. Hmm. It's made out of like kittens and like shiny things. It's absolutely absolutely disgusting. That sounds horrid. Yeah. So basically, he's asking us to go find it. And if he finds us, he gives us a scum. So we're totally in. Okay. So <laughs> does this demon lord also? Have like a spell of destruction as well? Uh, no, he doesn't have. A okay, spell so it's, does... ju it's just it's just plain evil. It's just he a plain old demon lord. Yeah, he doesn't even need he doesn't even need like the spell of destruction. He's just evil. Okay. Oh, that's Bird Lady. Bird Lady is unimportant. I mean, power. honestly, you don't need to destroy the world in order to be evil. Anyway, that guy's a farmer. He's asleep, so we're gonna do his job for him because why the hell not? We love these cattle because they killed our family, so we're just gonna. Smack him a million times in the You know ass. what's actually really evil? Pineapple pizza. Why would you eat that? Exactly. Because your bloodline is weak. <laughs> so basically... Yeah, are you trying to get yourself out of the gene pool with that? Yeah, basically we're trying to murder all these cows because oh. they killed our family. It was... We ha it, You're uh, not doing anime, a very good job of murdering them. In the anime, they had a really, they had a really heart, they had a really heartbreaking flashback. Oh, I see. <laughs> I, they didn't really have time to actually put it into the game for that, did they? No. So are you just like doing jokes or what? Uh, there we go, one more. Oh yeah, comedy. So, so when you go to Europe, like I said, Europe doesn't really have any like unique or like unique or different uh, or like unique style. They just do whatever. Okay. But then you head like, but like when you head, oh come on, come on please. Um, when you head to like uh, south to like Africa and, it, and like one, those areas, basically what happens is that, um, like first off, now that, uh, all of a sudden he wakes up and says, oh my god, oh I can't believe it, I, I can't believe I overslept, oh, I have extra scones, so here you go, We're just, I'm just gonna give you one. So oh, anyway, basically, nice. so basically, when you go so when you go to Africa, there's like these, like, when you go to like, uh, like, during, like the Saudi Arabia areas and like, Africa and stuff like that. Um, they're like they have like the equivalent of a your mama joke. Huh. It's not. It's not actually a your mama joke. It's like basically, do you know Mr. Bean? Oh, oh yeah, I know. Ba basically, they make Mr. Beans with they make jokes ba with Mr. Bean as the protagonist. Basically, <laughs> that's it. Um, it's basically like there's a I forget what the I forgot what the exact name the exact name is, but like they they say that. You say like, oh, it's this person, right? And this person does something stupid. Like, for example, when, when, let's just call him Bob, okay? All right. When Bob, when Bob heard heard that hit that that her that her daughter's husband hit her, do you know what he do you know what he did? What did he do? He he smacked his own daughter and said, what? "If you beat my daughter, I'll beat your wife." Huh? If you, if you beat my daughter, I'll beat your wife. And because the, and because his daughter's husband is her her daughter's husband's wife is her, he beats her as well. Uh, I'm confused. Uh, I can't figure this out. Oh my god! If you beat my daughter, I'll beat your wife. I'm so confused. Are you serious? Uh, it's just my head is not uh, uh, prepped to, uh, for hard jokes right now. It's not even hard. It's, I just said 20 words. Like. So basically, he just beat up on his own wife as well. No, he he hit he hit his daughter. He when he heard that his daughter got hit, he he hit his daughter as pun uh, to punish the to punish her husband. So they're just hitting the same person? Yes. That's the joke. They hit, he hits the same person. I find nothing funny of domestic abuse. Oh my... It's not... It's not a joke about domestic abuse. It's a joke about him being stupid. That's the it's whole definitely thing. stupid. It's just not funny for me. 
it's not funny because you didn't get it for like the first five minutes as you. Oh, well, that's the that's that's how jokes die anyway. Hmm. I'm kind of more of a knock knock guy. Slapstick. Oh, I remember. I just com I can remember something. I'll talk. I'll, I'll talk about it later though. Anyway, okay. when you go back, so base and when you go back up north and reach China. Like, China nowadays, what they do is, like, they do a lot and a lot and a lot of skits. Skits. Oh, boy. Like, and th and some of them are fucking hilarious. Like, you go on TV and then there's, and then you see these people, right? And what they do is, like, they have a scenario, they have all the props up, and, they, and then they just follow, and they basically just follow the script. But it's, like, scripted comedy, in my opinion, is, is much more fun, is much more funny than improvised. And what happens is that, like, there's a joke where a guy, where a guy gets, like, when, when a guy gets, uh, pressured into donating, so he writes a check for a thousand yuan, but he accidentally adds another zero on uh -oh. it, right? Oh, <laughs> so, like, no. so now all these people are, like, walking up to him, like, oh, you're so generous, and he has absolutely no idea why they're coming, why they're coming at it, it's like, oh my god, where are all these stalkers coming from? Anyway, anyway, here, this is the fisherman, he makes... He fishes, he fishes so that they, we can make fish cakes. Oh, I see. Right? But right now, he doesn't know, but right now, he has amnesia and doesn't remember how to fish. Oh, so, so we, we gotta to, teach him how to fish again? Yeah, so we gotta teach him how to fish again by, by doing his job for him. So he can relearn. Yes, and in return, he's gonna give us, he's gonna give us one of his prized fish cakes. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. So, this is an annoying minigame because you actually have to use the analog stick to move a net left and right. Huh. And the net has like acceleration and deceleration. What was it like in the anime? Uh, in the anime, basically they, ha they fished a really, really big fish and won a contest. It was really, it was a really amazing moment. They were, uh, it was, they were off by this much. Like, sounds like I missed a lot. Yeah. It's a really, it's a really, it's, Jack and Doctor is a really great anime. So basically, in this mini game, we just have to collect fish. If we miss 20 pounds of fish, or if we catch a single eel, the entire game's over. And we have to catch like 100 or something. 200, my bad. 200? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is gonna go well. Yeah, this is a really... This is Challenging? Like, yeah, because I already missed one. That's... this is already boating well. Yep. I can't... like... It, oh, oh, that was close. So, I wish I could use the directional keys for that, but it doesn't work. Directional keys? Who needs those? I know, right? What? What's that? PSX? Never heard of it. So as you can see, I'm doing absolutely terrible. Better than I could. Oh, damn it. I can see your problem with the momentum. Uh, oh, okay. it's getting worse. Yeah. So now he's just cheering us on and... Heathen languages, it's... Okay, so now we've... Yep, there we go, I caught an eel. So eels will poison the entire batch. Hey, you need 200? Yeah, I gotta get 200. Oh, God. Really, uh, really difficult minigame. That was quick. They so, yeah. always started off with the big ones. And then, oh yeah, I rem there's another one that I watched. Because these, because you can mainly see these like during New Year's shows or like regular TV in China. There's another there's another skit where there's a worker, right? And he's at, and he's asked to do some like he's asked to do some maintenance on building number 6, right? Mm -hmm. So he goes to building number 6 and everyone asks what and everyone asks who he is and he's introducing so oh, I'm the guy who's supposed to be at this building to like do some maintenance on it. Like maintenance, but there's nothing wrong with this building, right? And that goes on for quite a while, right? And then, and then one guy comes up, like, really angry at him, he's like, Hey, where the hell were you, right? And he's like, uh, and like I, I was at the building, I was, I was ordered to go. He's like, no, you weren't! Building 6 is over there, right? And he points, like, and he points, like, off into the distance, he's like, Building 6, but, but, but this is Building 6, I'm like, This isn't Building 6, this is Building 9! The side just, like, fell off and, like, flipped upside down. A screw came loose. Oh, so yes, the screw came loose. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck it. 